Hey guys, this is Andreas with Pokeballs.com and in front of me right here I have my iPad mini uh, I have an Xbox 360 controller and what you're seeing on the screen is a game called Just Cause 2 for consoles and PCs so what's actually happening here is that behind me I have my desktop computer set up it's running the Steam version of Just Cause 2 with a few mods, none of which are actually related to this setup uh, I'm using a standard USB to uh, Microsoft wireless controller adapter in order to get the controller to work and the game is set up so that it detects the controller automatically and switches to what's well, essentially the same experience you get if you play it on an Xbox 360. So what's special here is that I'm actually remote controlling my desktop computer using Splashtop 2 uh, on a local Wi-Fi connection. And what's special about Splashtop 2 is that lately it's been just become more and more stable, less latency. It's just so fast now that it's essentially like having the perfect wireless display as long as you're using it on a local Wi-Fi connection. So obviously that's what I'm doing here. And just to show you how well this works, I decided to load up this game to just show you that you essentially can sitting somewhere else than your computer and play a game like this. So if you can see how um, the character responds to my movements, you can see that there's essentially no latency. Um, and if I can just get up in the air using the flying mod, you can see that it's streaming the game basically perfectly. There's basically no visible lag. It looks great because right now it's running in windowed mode on the, in the same resolution that the computer is running in, which is also the same resolution on the iPad. So it basically works great and it also handles perfectly because um, there's just so little latency that it's essentially like playing on the computer. So if you can just land there. Find something to blow up. There we go. Okay, that didn't work so well. You can basically see and it plays perfectly and it's it's essentially like having the iPad be a perfect display with the same sort of latency that you get with a normal computer display. And the reason why I find this so interesting is that right now this essentially works on the same principle as the Wii U, which is Nintendo's new console. And it works by um, having the controller and the screen be separate from the from the console that actually does all the computing. So on the Wii U you have a controller that's also uh, has a screen, a resistive touchscreen if I'm not mistaken. And you can play a lot of the games on the con on the gamepad itself and sort of use it like an at home wireless controller or at home portable gaming system I guess it's more accurate. Um, and basically just take it with you around the house and instead of sitting in front of the TV you can bring it to your couch and just sit down and play the games there. And that's sort of the same vibe that I get with doing this. And it occurred to me that if you just take this Xbox 360 controller and sort of pull it in half, attach uh, one piece to each side of the iPad mini, you essentially have the, exactly the same experience as you get with a Wii U, just you have it with PC games, which frankly have better graphics anyways. And because a lot of PC games these days are actually ports of console games, so they already have support for game controllers built in, uh, you're not really suffering from having to use a controller, not any more than you do by using or by playing it on a console. I guess some PC gamers would say that that's suffering enough, but I actually prefer playing certain games with a controller 
which is why I have this setup to begin with. So um, I just thought it was very interesting how well this actually works in practice because it does sort of open up a whole range of new possibilities uh, when the system is as fast as it is right now. So I may have to look into getting this Xbox controller split in half. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be. And uh, uh, basically I would be very interested in having some sort of portable tablet, even though it's only going to work within the range of um, the Wi-Fi router and the wireless adapter. It's still something that I think would have a lot of potential. So that's just a neat trick I wanted to show you. So that's uh, basically just cost two running on an uh, iPad mini. And this has been Andreas from pokerballs.com.